all think we know these athletes because of all the media coverage that they get. But what if I told you that they all have some crazy secrets that you never knew? Well, let's take a look at some of the biggest secrets you didn't know about NFL players. Some are pretty shocking, and some will leave you smiling. Up first, we got Mahomes. Mahomes was a true athlete growing up. He played baseball, basketball, and football. During his senior year of high school at White House High in Texas, the Detroit Tigers selected Mahomes as the 37th round of the 2014 MLB Draft. Mahomes did not sign with the Tigers, opting to play both football and baseball at Texas Tech. Mahomes made one appearance his freshman year, in which he gave up three home runs and two walks, recording zero outs. After his freshman year, Mahomes stopped playing baseball, focusing instead on football. The rest is history. But also shocking is that Patrick Mahomes Mahomes was once a victim of an armed robbery in Texas his rookie year, and not too many people know about this, maybe because he was just another rookie that wasn't playing at the time. Mahomes and three friends were on their way back to a residence in Smith County after a baseball game. When a vehicle pulled up next to them in the driveway, a man from the vehicle demanded their possessions, with Mahomes believing the man was armed. Mahomes stated that he and his companions complied with the demands after which the suspect fled the scene. Law enforcement managed to locate two individuals, 34-year-old Michael Blake Pinkerton and 58-year-old Billy Ray Johnson in their vehicle and subsequently arrested them. Mahomes' wallet was recovered, and an officer came to learn that the incident seemed to be opportunistic rather than premeditated and the suspects were unaware of Mahomes' identity during the robbery. Let's all be happy this didn't go bad, and that we still have a chance to witness the GOAT breaking all kinds of records. Let's move on to another GOAT. Not only is he known for being the greatest of all time, but Tom Brady is also loved by women across the globe. Many view him as this beautiful, perfect individual with a perfect face and amazing hair. But one thing you may not know is that many experts believe that Tom Brady has had a hair transplant. Tom Brady has never been public about his hair. He has never discussed his hair problems or any procedure he might have undergone. If we track him from the year 2000 to 2014, he did experience difficulties with his hair, as his hairline was receding. In his photos, it's been quite evident that his hairline was thinning, as his hairstyles didn't cover up his temples. But in 2007, his hair started to look comparatively fuller around the hairline area. If we go back to 2005, the football sensation appeared with a buzz cut, making the Tom Brady hair transplant rumors come true. A buzz cut is often required before someone goes for a hair transplant procedure. With his hairline starting to grow back and looking more charming than ever, journalists and hair experts couldn't help but notice Tom Brady's new avatar. Soon, stories about his hair transplant filled the newsstands. He became the talk of the town. Though he never approved of any stories about hair transplants, experts are pretty sure he had one. Speaking of having one, this next player had four. Well, not four hair transplants, but four kids at the same time. While playing in Miami is a beautiful thing because of the nice weather and all the nice surroundings, it does come with a lot of temptation. Last year, Miami cornerback Xavier Howard allegedly knocked up four different women at the same time. And all I can think of is that child support money. That's a lot of money for the next 18 years. A woman known as Ty from Miami asserts that she is carrying the NFL player's child and claims that she has been subjected to harassment by him. Pictures floated around about the four alleged women that he got pregnant. Let's just say they wouldn't be women that you'd bring home to mom, but maybe Unk would definitely give you a fist bump and say, I see you, boy. Not sure whatever happened and if the rumors were at all true, but my boy better keep playing better for the next 10 years and sign another big contract. That's all I'm saying. Most players just pick a random number, and that usually becomes their favorite. But there's often not a special reason behind it. Lamar Jackson shares a deeply personal narrative. Initially, Lamar wore the number 7 as an homage to his idol, Michael Vick. However, upon arriving at the University of Louisville, he encountered a dilemma. The number 7 was already claimed by Reggie Bonifant, another teammate. Faced with this challenge, Lamar had to select a new number. Eventually, he settled on wearing number 8, a choice that carried profound significance in his life. When Lamar was just 8 years old, tragedy struck. His father was involved in a fatal car accident, leaving a deep void in Lamar's life. This loss was further compounded by the passing of his grandmother on the same day. The memories of that heartbreaking day stayed with Lamar, shaping his journey. In honor of both his father and grandmother, Lamar chose to wear the number 8 jersey. It became more than just a number. It became a symbol of the resilience that he derived from their memory. 
a constant reminder of the adversities he had. Speaking of reminder, Josh nearly found himself following in his family's farming footsteps. Growing up on a farm in a quaint California town, Josh's upbringing revolved around the rural lifestyle. His parents credit the farm for fostering his love for sports and keeping him active. With a farming legacy spanning three generations, Josh's dad and uncle cultivated cotton and other crops on their family farm, a business that would have been handed down to Josh had fate not intervened. However, Josh dreamed bigger than the farm, particularly about football. Despite being a highly touted recruit in high school, his path to college football faced many hurdles. Initially, Josh had to spend a year at Reedley Community College before finding his footing. With a stroke of luck, a coach at Reedley, who happened to be his cousin's spouse, aided Josh in securing a starting position. Yet even after a successful first season, Josh's journey wasn't guaranteed. Josh embarked on a relentless pursuit of his football dreams. He bombarded over a thousand schools, coaches, and scouts with emails, all seeking an opportunity to showcase his talent. After reaching out, only two institutions extended offers, Eastern Michigan and Wyoming. Opting for the latter, Josh seized the chance to prove himself. In just two years at Wyoming, he surpassed all expectations, tallying an impressive 44 touchdowns and over 5,000 yards, solidifying his place in collegiate football before making it to the NFL. Speaking of making it to the NFL, Micah Parson, who is only 24 years of age, already has two kids. Now, you may not see that as a big deal, but Micah had his firstborn when he was only 18. The Dallas Cowboy star claims that it was unexpected and a little challenging, but he didn't mind the problem because he knew he was so good that he'd make it into the NFL and finances wouldn't be a problem. I think it's pretty fair to say that he wasn't lying. In an interview with the Pivot podcast, Micah does admit that it is hard being a father and playing in the NFL, but he also mentioned that he wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Now, it's hard to top a story like that, but Lamar helping a rapper escape prison is truly mind-blowing. Lamar, hailing from Florida, shared a close bond with none other than celebrity rapper Kodak Black, who's also from Florida. Their friendship is amazing, as they supported each other relentlessly. Kodak would show up at Lamar's games, proudly sporting Lamar's jersey and surprising him with lavish diamond jewelry. In return, Lamar showered Kodak with unwavering support, hyping up his unreleased music, attending his events, and even featuring in his music videos. Their friendship seemed unbreakable, until tragedy struck when news broke that Kodak was facing jail time. A warrant was issued for his arrest, citing violations of pre-trial release conditions. Devastated by Kodak's predicament, Lamar attended his court proceedings, witnessing Kodak being sentenced to three years behind bars. Determined to help his friend, Lamar took to Twitter, reaching out to then-President Donald Trump, advocating for Kodak's release. In a miraculous turn of events, just days later, Trump granted Kodak clemency, dropping his charges, all thanks to Lamar's impassioned plea. Now that's a crazy story. But before all the Taylor Swift buzz took over the news and social media, Travis Kelsey was making headlines for dating not just one, but a whopping 50 girls at once. Yep, you heard that right. Back when he was establishing himself, a TV company saw him and his lively personality as a ticket to fame. So they came up with the idea for a show called Catching Kelsey. The premise was pretty simple. One girl from each state competed in challenges and fought for Kelsey's heart in a huge house. The show was pure entertainment. From discussions about football allegiances to family ties, it was a roller coaster of emotions. Ultimately, Kelsey had to make a choice, and he picked Maya. But as quickly as it started, the romance fizzled out. Nowadays, people don't even remember him as a TV star. He's moved on to bigger things and started dating Taylor Swift. Let's move on to a story many of you may know. Odell Beckham Jr. is a name synonymous with football greatness. But as it turns out, his true love is soccer. Yeah, soccer, or football, as as it's known globally. Odell's journey to NFL stardom was almost diverted when his passion for soccer took center stage during his formative years. From the tender age of three, Odell was already honing his skills on the soccer field. His talent blossomed to such an extent that he received an enticing offer to join the national team in Europe when he was just 13 or 14. However, faced with the prospect of leaving his family behind, Odell made a pivotal decision to stick to American sports. While soccer did remain close to his heart, Odell redirected 
directed his focus to football, determined to make it work. And work it did, as he became a star player, earning his place in the NFL and becoming an icon in the sport. Yet Odell's affinity for soccer never waned. Even in the middle of an intense NFL game, you can often catch him juggling a football just like a soccer ball. His training sessions frequently involve kicking it with star soccer players, showcasing his undeniable passion for the beautiful game. So while Odell's fame may lie on the football field, his heart beats to the rhythm of soccer, a sport that continues to influence and shape his journey both on and off the field.